Hi everyone, this is unit four. Oh my gosh, I did the same thing in the last one. Unit one, module four, session one, homework. I'm thinking ahead of what I'm reading. Uh, as always, make sure you try some of the problems first and then use this to kind of validate your thinking or if you have some questions then you can use it to kind of support you. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Maybe we can do this first one together and then you can pause it and then check your answers after you've tried it. All right, so we're writing numerical expressions. So expressions means we are not going to be putting answers yet, all right? And they want grouping symbols, so that means like parentheses. Um, here we go, let's see this. So to find 73 times nine, I find 73 times 10, okay? And then I'm gonna remove one group. Remove, I'm going to subtract. So 73 times 10, all right, I'm gonna multiply those two numbers, and I'm gonna remove one group of 73, all right? Now, some of you might just write it like this. You might write 73 times 10. And you already know 1 times 73 is 73. So you could write that as well. Either works. Both are equivalent. All right, to find the volume, 1B. To find the volume of a box that has an 18 by 25 base and... 12 layers. I multiply the area of the base times the height. So let's put the base all together. Um, here's the base and by in this instance means multiply. So 18 by 25 and then we're going to multiply that by 12. And um, since all multiplication it doesn't matter if the parentheses are there I could just have, oh, I'm going to get that equal sign out of there. I, I was showing their equivalent but we've been talking about expressions are just, uh, or have no equal sign. So I could have two expressions equal to each other, but then it becomes an equation. So it could also be, um, or let's do that, uh, 18 times 25 times 12. Okay, so same thing, just doesn't need the parentheses. And it could go in any order, except for they said they did the base and then the, then the layers. So um, you could still turn it though. Write and solve an equation. Okay, so now we're doing an equation, so we're going to have an equal sign uh, to represent each situation. To find 23 times 8, I double and have. So um, let's just go ahead and set this up. 23 times 8 is the same thing as... Uh, well, I'm not going to have the 23. This looks like the homework that I just did. I was just doing this one. 23 times 8, I'm going to... Um, double the 23 and I'm going to multiply that um, I'm going to multiply that by half of the 8 divided by uh, 2 so that would be 46 times 4 okay let's do it again I'm not going to show all my work I'm going to double and half um, I'm going to change the colors I'm going to double the 46 times 2 and half the 4. So now I'm just going to show my work. So another equivalent equation would be uh, 92 uh, times 2. And I'm going to solve that one. 92 times 2 is 184. So there's my final equation. Um, I'll just highlight it right here. There's my final equation. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Uh, to find 24 times 17, I multiply 20 times 17 and then add it to 4 times 17. So it looks like they're splitting apart the 24. The 24 is becoming a 20 plus 4. Okay, so they do um, 20 times 17 and then they're going to add that um, to 4 times 17. Okay, are we going to figure that out? So 20 times 17, if I double 17, so it's like 2 times 17 times 10. So double 17 is 34 times 10 is 340. And then 4 times 17. Well, I know that um, 2 times 17, we just said it was 34, right? So then if I multiply that, if I double it again, that's 68. So my answer is whatever 340 plus 68 is. And I'm looking at that, I'm like, I know 340 plus 60 is 400. 
So I think it's 408. I apologize for moving the whole screen. All right, let's keep going. Let's change colors here so we can see what's going on. Um, true or false, 12 times 17 is the same thing as 6 times 34. And I'm looking at, and I see a relationship between 12 and 6. So if I um, half 12, half 12, that's 6. All right, I'm going to try and sneak it in there. And if I double 17, that's 34. And that is right there. So this is true. I don't even have to do all the work, right? I don't have to do the whole problem if I can prove that they're exactly the same thing. All right, let's do the next one. 99 times 75 is equal to um, 100 times 75 minus 1. Now, let's think about this. There's 99 groups of 75, okay? So over here is 100 groups of 75, and I'm going to subtract 1. I think I need to subtract one group of 75, so I think that's false. But I'd love to have a chat with you if you are thinking that I might be wrong on that one. All right, let's keep going. To find the volume of a box, I can multiply the length times the width. The volume of a box. Well, I'm just going to write it right here. Volume of a box equals length times width times... Hmm, one last thing. False. Need the height. You have to have the height. All right, evaluate each expression. Um, if you watched the previous video or, or in class, we talked about this as well. That means we're going to solve these, okay? Um, I'm trying to try and figure out how I want to solve these first. Like A is all multiplication. So I'm thinking, huh, let me see, 72. Why was that 72? I, I multiplied 8 times 9 first. Is that going to help me? Uh, I'm going to multiply um, 7 times 8. So this is 56 times 9. Well, I know 56 times 10. What's this? 56 times 10 minus 56, or one group of 56. So I know 56 times 10 is 560 minus 56. And I'm not going to show my work for 560 minus 56 because I'm going to do it in my head. Um, I know that 56 is almost 60. It's only four away. So I believe my answer is 504. Feel free to write anything down that you think that would be beneficial. All right. Uh, number B. Oh, excuse me, letter B. Um, 2 times 5 times 5 plus 3 times 4 times 5. Four. So let's do this. Let's do this part first. So that's um, 2 times 25. That's 50. Um, and we're going to add that. And then 3 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. I'm going to take this right over here. 16 times 3. Um, well, I know 16 times 2 is 32. Plus another 16 is... Uh, I believe that's 48. Sorry, move the screen again. 98 is my answer. All right, 100 times 67 minus 1 times 67. Let me change the color. So that's, uh, I know this part. It's a 67, and I'm going to attach two zeros there. So 6,700. And I'm going to subtract 67 from that. I don't, I don't think I need to, Moment, I do have to borrow if I do the algorithm, but I know my answer is going to be 6,600 something. And I know I add 33 to 67 to get 100. So I got 6,633. I'll put a comment there for you. All right. This next one, be careful. I'm going to have to use a highlighter. There's 9847s. And there's two 47s, and I'm glad this is the last one on this page because that means there are 100 47s. So I just saved us some time if if you're looking at this. Well, you saved yourself some time if you saw that. 100 times 47 is just simply 4,700. All right. All right. Let's keep going. Pause it if you get it, remember, and try these. The next ones I think are coming up are some volume questions. All right, how many one by one by one cubes are in the following rectangular prisms? 
um, write and solve equations. They want an equation. So I'm going to count, okay? I'm going to count the base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven whole edges right there of cubes, and then one, two, three times three. And then it, the height is one, two, three, four times four. Seven times three is 21, yeah? Uh, times four. So 20 times four is 80. I believe I got 84. And we'll just say cubes, right? 84 one by one by one cubes. All right, let's keep going. B. Uh, oh, they tell us the dimensions. They didn't draw. They just tell us the dimensions. So the base is 4 times 5. And the height is 6. So this right here is 20 times 6. Well, 2 times 6 times 10. So 2 times 6 is 12 times 10 is 120 cubes. So there's my equations. Okay. All right, a box holds a 125 balls. Each layer has 25 balls. So I need to figure out how many layers go in 125. So basically I'm gonna go 125 divided by 25. And I, I'm just gonna count by 25, to be honest with you. I know that it ends with a 25. So I know 2550, I'm using my fingers, you can't see it. 2550, 75, 100, 125. So I believe it's five layers. I like counting by 25s. Five layers. There's so many other ways we can do that. You could use a, uh, a ratio table. Um, you could do the, the division algorithm. We're not going to necessarily focus on that this year, but if you know it, you could try it. Um, you could try multiplying different things. There's a few different things you could do. Challenge a box holds 425 balls. Each layer has 17. Oh, here we go. Um, how are we going to solve this one? How many layers does the box have? So I need to figure out my problem. Do I have time for this? I do. Um, I need to figure out 425 divided by 17. Okay. So I'm going to use my ratio table. Um, 1 is 17. Uh, let's skip to 10. 10 is 170. Right? Um Let's go 20, right? Let's just go 20. Ah, right. yeah, let's go 20. 20, we're going to double that. So, because that's times 2. Um, so if I double 170, um, that's 340. Um, hmm. So I need to get up to 425. Um, let's try 2. 2 is 34. Okay. So right now I have, I can see 340 plus 34, 374. Um, so I have this, I have this. I'm gonna add another 17. So let me run out of room. Um, a one here, carry it out, and that's gonna be eight, three. 381. So I have this. I have a 1. So right now I'm at 23. Um, in fact, I'll just record that. 23 is 381. Uh, I could just go by 17s, right? If I add 17 more. Sorry, I moved the screen. Uh, 381 plus 17. Um, you might have a quicker way than me. 9 and 3. 398. So 24 is 398. What am I trying to get? 425. 425. I feel like I, I might have made a mistake somewhere. 374 was 22. 23. Oh, do you see where I made my mistake? <laughs> I see it. I see it. I see it. Watch this. I'm like, that's not making sense. Um, this should be 391. Do I still have time? Oh, barely. This is 391. So then this is going to be three, 400, um, and eight, 408. And I think I need one more. So I think my answer is 25. 
but you're going to have to check because I'm out of time. After I caught my air, which I'm really glad I did.